will now cover the arithmetic operations that can be performed on numbers using arithmetic operators. The addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus operators are also present in other programming languages. The integer division or floor division operator and exponential operator is only available in Python. So in all, there are seven arithmetic operators available in Python. The expressions consist of combination of operands and operators that evaluates to a value. For addition, subtraction, and multiplication, if the operands are integers, the result is an integer. If any of the operands is a float, then the result evaluates to a float value. Let us practically see the working of addition, subtraction, and multiplication operators. Let us use print statement and let us add 18 plus 4. We get the result as 22. If it is 18 minus 4, we get the result as 14. In the same way, 18 multiplied by 4 will give us the result as 72. We can also have negative results. For example, 4 minus 18 will give us minus 14. So if both the operands are integer, the result is an integer. Now let us try to use 4.5 plus 2. We get the result as 6.5. Since one of the operands is a float, the result is also a floating point. Let us try to perform 4.5 minus 2. We get the result as 2.5. As well as 4 multiplied by 2, we get the result as 9.0. You can observe that the result is not 9, it's 9.0. Since one of the operand is a float, the result is also a floating point value. Let us talk about division operator. The result of division operator is always float, even if the operands are integer. Let us look at how division works. Let us divide 10 by 2. We get the result as 5.0. Even if the operands are integer, the result is always a floating point number. In the same way, if we have one of the operands as a float, that is in this case 4.5 divided by 2, we get the result as 2.25, which is a float value. We can perform modulus operations which returns the remainder of the division. Even in modulus operation, if both the operands are integers, the result is an integer. Let us look at how modulus operator works. For example, we have 14 modulus 4, which evaluates to 3 multiplied by 4, which is 12, plus 2, will give us the result as 14. So, the remainder is 2. Therefore, the result of 14 modulus 4 is 2. The operands can also be a float value. If any of the operand is a float, then the result evaluates to a float value. For example, 14.75 modulus 4 evaluates to 3 multiplied by 4 which is 12 plus 2.75 will give us the result as 14.75 and here the remainder is 2.75 therefore 14.75 modulus 4 is 2.75 let us practically see how modulus operator works let us consider 14 modulus 4 we get the result as 2 if both the operands are integer the result is also an integer. But suppose if we have 14.75, that is one of the operand is a float value, then we get the result as 2.75 which is also a float value. We can also have the second operand as a float value. For example, let us consider 10 modulus 3.5. In this case, we get 3.0 as the result. Since what? Since one of the operand is a float value, the result is also a float value. Let us look at exponential operator. Double asterisk is used to denote exponential operator. Even in exponential operator, if both the operands are integers, the result is an integer value. For example, 2 exponential 3 evaluates to 2 power 3, which is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, which gives us the result as 8. If any of the operand is a float, then the result is a float value. For example, 3.5 exponential 2 is 3.5 power 2, which evaluates to 3.5 multiplied by 3.5 and gives us the result as 12.25. Let us look at how exponential operator works. For example, 2 exponential 3 will give us the result as 8. Since both the operands are integer, the result is also an integer value. Let us consider 3.5 
exponential 2. We get the result as 12.25. Since one of the operand is a float, the result is also a float value. Even in the case, for example, if we have 10.0 exponential 2, we get the result as 100.0, not 100. The second operand can also be a float value. For example, let us consider 2 exponential 1.5. We get the result as 2.8284 and so on. Before we move on to integer division or floor division operator, let us look at mathematical floor and seal operation. Let us consider a value 10.25. The seal operation performed on a value gives the next integer. As a result, the seal operation on 10.25 will return the next integer, that is 11 in this case. Similarly, the floor operation performed on a value will give greatest integer less than equal to the value. As a result, the floor operation on 10.25 will return 10. Since 10 is the greatest integer less than equal to 10.25. Now we will look at integer division operator. In Python, we can use double slash for integer division. If both the operands are integer, then the result is an integer. Let us look at how integer division works. Integer division first performs the normal division, then the floor operation is applied to the result. Hence, the integer division operator is also referred to as a floor division operator. For example, let's consider 15 floor division 4. Now first, the normal division is performed. That is, 15 divided by 4, the result is 3.75. Then, the floor operation is performed on 3.75. The result of floor on 3.75 is 3. Therefore, the result of 15 integer division 4 is 3. In integer division, if any of the operand is a float, then the result is a float. For example, 15.5 integer division 4 evaluates to 15.5 normal division 4, which is 3.875. The floor operation applied on 3.875 results in 3. Observe that here in this case, we are getting the result as float, that is 3.0 and not the integer 3. Because if one of the operand is a float, the result is a float, even though the floor operation returns an integer. Remember that in integer or floor division operation, always the decimal part is discarded. We can also use negative numbers in integer division, such as minus 5 integer division 2. In this case, minus 5 divided by 2, the result is minus 2.5. And performing the floor operation on minus 2.5 gives the result as minus 3. Because minus 3 is the greatest integer less than minus 2.5. Let us practically see how integer division works. For example, let us consider 15 integer division 4. We get the result as 3. Since both the operands are integer, the result is also an integer. Let us consider 15.5 integer division 4. The result is 3.0. Since the first operand is a float value, the result is also a float value. We can also perform integer division the second operator can also be a float value. For example, 15.5 integer division 4.5 will give us the result as 3.0. We can also use negative numbers for integer division. For example, let us consider 5 integer division 2. We get the result as 2. Let us now consider minus 5 integer division 2. We get the result as minus 3. The second operand can also take a negative value. In this case, 5 integer division minus 2 will return as minus 3 as the result. 